Hey guys, uh, Power in here doing a figure review this time on Dragon Ball Super Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku from the Chibi Master line of figurines. This is something I picked up uh, this past Sunday along with two of the other figurines right there. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken uh, Goku and Vegito. The only other two I'm missing out of the five is Piccolo and Trunks, but hopefully next time around I'll be able to pick them up. But with that out of the way, we're going to go into the unboxing of the figure and the figure review itself. So we'll see you there in a bit. Okay, folks, let's go with the unboxing of this. First things first, got out of the way. We got to get rid of the tape. So a little bit with my X-Acto knife. Tape removed. I'm pretty sure that's the last of that tape. And now we can open this guy up right here. Fold, fold the boxes. Uh, fold, well, fold the card in and whatnot. And at least the figure out of its little box. Pretty nice. Overall, while it's still in the uh, plastic stuff, looking pretty nice design overall. Looking good for Super Saiyan 3. It's been a while since I own, what's it called, myself a Dragon Ball figure. So this is actually pretty nice. Let's get the figure out. I'm pretty sure this thing, yep, was the rest of the line. It comes with his own little stand right there, which we'll figure out. But first things first, let's see how Dragon Ball Z Goku looks. And it looks pretty nice design for a very chibi figure. It's pretty nice, especially for the price too. This thing cost me 10 bucks. So it's pretty nicely, uh, for how it is designed, how it looks, pretty nice. Let's show Representation for uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, especially with mean eyebrows and whatnot, going uh, Kame Kame Ha. Looks pretty nice. Now let's go with the other stuff that comes with it. Apparently it comes with a stand. And we'll see, we're able to get rid of, ah, we're going to need X-Acto knife. So, X-Acto knife right there, X-Acto knife right there. I do apologize for this. There's opening stands and whatnot. Comes in, stand is open. It's a little tiny stand, kind of like with the rest of the figures that I buy uh, that they have and made and whatnot. A little tiny stand is made there. Pretty nice design. Actually, I, I know this for a little bit because it's cold. I bought some Naruto ones, exact same price as well for ten bucks. Um, what's it called? And they're pretty good and pretty nicely designed. As you can see right there, there's the hole you can put the stand right there. Just equip the stand right there. Make sure you don't break it. And voila, stand is complete and Goku is now in a pose without having to fall over. And it looks pretty nice. I'm actually pretty liking this. As someone who is or was, no, I am a Dragon Ball fan. It's been a while, but I recently came back into it. I actually kind of missed it. Forgot how fun the franchise was. It's like there, I've been in a lot of animes of the late. Um, primary animes, as you know, is Gundam and Fate. But as of late... Especially with other anime stuff. I mean, I do love other animes, but for some reason, going back to Dragon Ball has brought back more of a childhood, and I really didn't miss it. I know there's some, like, uh, some grab stuff with current, with Super and whatnot, but overall, it's pretty fun. And that's the thing about Dragon Ball. We just gotta have fun with it. And overall, looks pretty nicely designed right here. I love it. For the price that it is, and for everything that it looks, it's pretty good. Let's go over here with the circulation of it. Overall, I love it. Uh, nice of design. Uh, what's it called? I bought this at Target if you're wondering where to get it. Uh, hopefully they're in stock and whatnot. Uh, overall price is like 10 bucks, so it's actually pretty cheap. So if you want to start your Dragon Ball collection or at least get back into like Dragon Ball 1 and start collecting figures, it's actually pretty nicely designed, especially with the other five figures that you got here as well. As you got Trunks, Piccolo, Kaioken, Bl Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Pretty nice cheap figures, and, they're, and since they're very small, they're basically uh, economical. You can put them wherever you want without them taking up too much space and all that. And overall, looking pretty nice. Overall, the fun, fun, good looking figure. I like it. And I, and I, yeah, if you're wondering, I recommend you should get it. Yeah. Overall, great figure. I love it. It's Dragon Ball. It's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Probably one of the more famous uh, versions of him. I know everybody is. That I like, what, five minutes of screaming just to go Super Saiyan 3? Oh, man, the lung capacity is just to constantly scream. Oof. But, was out of the way, this is my Super Saiyan 3 uh, Son Goku from the Chibi Master Line review. Uh, hopefully you guys like that. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, and I'll be back with more reviews. And since I do have the other two, I'll be reviewing the other two. Next on the list is going to be um, Kyle Ken's Super Saiyan Blue Goku. 
And then the next one is going to be Super Saiyan Vegito. But that's for next time. This is Power Arden with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.